up everybody yes I'm not wearing this hat that I tried to throw away in Indiana and it ended up coming back to me in a box for my birthday from my dad so I thought I'd wear it because uh, yeah why not anyway no I do not want any happy birthdays in this video comment section because that's not what this video is about this is the fourth installment of the Honda Hobbit uh, PA52 and the last thing I showed you guys was the shim that I created for this plate which looks like meow right there Let's see if it will focus focus anyway now the reason that I made this shim was because the slop in this which I'll show you the slop in here so what I did was I went ahead and made a second shim um, and the reason that I'm doing this in the first place using the EDM is for learning purposes I figured if I'm gonna waste the effort and time to try to teach myself the wire EDM machine then I'm gonna go ahead and make practical usable parts so that's what I did so let's see if I can get you a slightly better shot over here without just completely flipping the camera out um, so here's the deal the second cut was this one on this side I told you the first cut was here so this was that first cut this was the second cut so now I'm learning about the EDM machine and how it functions and the G code that it needs to run and how those machine codes get used and all sorts of fun stuff so there's your differences you can see the uh, the difference now I did redraw it a slightly different tolerance to make sure that my drawing was more accurate to my part because I measured off the diameter of this and this time I measured off the diameter of this itself so I drew the drawing exactly to fit this with no slip um, so what that means is I did not allow for oh I did not allow for any slip or any play or any room um, and I did that on purpose because I wanted to see how accurate I could uh, cut this part or how accurate it was now I figured out um, and this really doesn't have anything to do with the Honda here but I figured out that in the g-code you can offset the wire um, now I knew this but I did not realize you had to actually manually input the proper code to make it offset so this is actually pretty darn sweet um, I think I have to actually put this in here so I measured this with calipers and then I drew it up and there you can see on the light reflection you can see how nice it fits now here's the cool thing I'm not sure how well this is going to show up but the best way to find out if something has any gaps is to hold it up to the light and actually there's more gap on this side than I was than I remember there being might be able to flip this around and get less but nonetheless look at the outside parameters you can see there's a there's a tiny gap in the top and all the way around there's pretty much no air or there's no gap in there at all the bottom is pretty tight so that that is some sweet tolerance um, and then as far as this shim fitting on here I took a lot of measurements of this and I went ahead and used the smallest measurement that I took even though it was probably too small and so what happens is this shim um, this shim actually does fit on here oh let's see if we can break it See, the thing I have a hard hat on is I whacked my head, and I'm not so sure that I'm going to be able to to slip this on here after I put it on there because it is it is a tight fit. There we go. So there we go. Um, and yeah, it's a little off because it's not quite square. There you go. It's 
still a little wobbly, I realize that. But the fact is, is that is a tight fit. That is a nice cut. That worked out really, really well. Almost too well. Now if I tap this back off here, what I'm going to do is uh, this, uh, someone was concerned about the thickness of this shim, it's pretty thin. Um, the thickness of this shim is actually a lot better. The uh, outer shim there is much better. This is, look how weak this thing is. I mean, it's crazy. So, what I'm going to do is, if you look closely, now that I've pressed it on there, there's a little bit of scarring on the inside. So, what I'm going to do is go back and just slightly polish the edge of this. And uh, then it should pretty much slip right on the inside here. Because it, I mean, it fits. It's a good fit. So anyway, that's the short update. Man, that was a long video for a short update. So, continuing on number four, the second shim cut and uh, much better accuracy and like I said learning how to use the wire EDM is uh, you know very uh, interesting a little close oh no woo woo alright see you guys later have a good day peace wow. <sighs> it got hot hey what's up everybody uh, briefly I want to show you what I did here, and then I got some parts updates for you. Woot woot! So I took my uh, my Dremel tool with a very fine, like almost like a polishing wheel. Um, it's uh, like a very fine abrasive, and I I mean I'm talking I barely barely buzzed the inside of that just to get rid of the uh, the rough finish, and uh, the I actually. I put the ring on there, and I just tapped it on there, so it's it's actually on there. Can you even see it? The shim, the shim is actually on there. You can see it right there. So uh, go back out. So this part fits nicely. nicely on there it's actually tight so that is an awesome wire EDM cut right there that turned out very nice everything is tight you can see I can drag the whole motor with the plate so excited about that one um, I can still get this off for changing out the weights or whatever yeah it looks like it's still tight against there all right, so that's that. That worked out well. So now it's parts time. So you guys already saw the uh, you already saw the plate, um, <clears throat> the muffler. Here is my new muffler. This is a uh, a Parma kit, if I said that correctly. There's the information on that. Um, this. Muffler fits on the end of here. That's my complete circuit exhaust. Pretty excited. Stainless steel, polished. I got my belt, my new belt in. This one feels uh, like a nice belt. I got my uh, my reeds. So I don't know if I filmed much of that, but the the other reeds that were on here was a uh, stainless steel, and these are actually a uh, fiberglass. So I got my reeds in. Um, I got my carburetor, which is totally different. I knew it would be. Uh, I have no idea if I'm going to get this to function correctly. This is a cheap remake version of the PHBG21 carb. This is not a true... Um, model this is a remake cheap, cheap Chinese remake but hey it's gonna function and then the most important important part of this whole thing oh I did get a couple of uh, spark plugs these are uh, NEG B8 or they're NEK 
B7 HS. So I got some spark plugs. Uh, what else do I, got? I think that's really it besides the head kit. Oh, the filter. Don't know if I showed you the filter. The filter fits inside of my frame. So it's actually designed for it. It's a high flow filter. So I don't have to put that little crappy little filter back in there. Um, and then the head kit. So here's the head kit. Comes with the head, the gaskets. Uh, let me see if I can get it out. And that's all of it. So uh, it comes with the gaskets. Um, so this is the gasket between the motor. I'm going to have to actually make one of these. Um, and then this one goes between the head. Then there's a gasket for the uh, exhaust. New piston ring. And then the piston. Aluminum. Shows the exhaust port side. The aluminum head. It does have uh, seven ports in there. You can see all seven of them in there if you look at the right light. So that's pretty sweet. I don't know. I should really port these a little bit. But I probably won't. I think I'm going to leave these stuck. I think they'll be fine. What they do, you can cut these out a little bit, open them up a little bit, and help it breathe and work better. But I, I really think it's fine. Um, you can see how nicely these fit. Very nice. So we'll have to take it easy. I got a new, uh, um, I forgot what the technical term for this thing is. Someone else can leave it in the comments. I'm sure I'll have a hundred of them. Uh, I guess that's it. So what I'm going to have to do to make the card work, since this was like a 12 millimeter intake and this is a uh, 21, you can see the difference. I actually did this as another test cut. This was another wire EDM cut. Um, I uh, screwed it up here. Actually we scaled it and scaled it wrong and cut it and then stopped it and recut it. Um, this is the one I filmed actually in the wire EDM video itself. So this plate matches exactly. Um, and so I was going to actually just this block actually sits, sits at an angle um, on this motor so it sits like this so that the carb or is it this way it sits this way and this is angled down so that the carb is actually vertical um, so what that means is I was going to make another one and um, fit this on here and TIG weld it all together and then these would fit together this is the right diameter this is just some random aluminum tube I had laying around um, but what I'm thinking about doing is if I can cut this open if I can mill this open and still have enough material um, then I might go ahead and just mill this open to the right diameter um, it's quite a bit of difference and it may not work but I think I, th I really think it I think it might work if I open it up wide um, then I can make me a, a, a little attachment plate or something and use the original now the only problem between the original carb which is here and this carb as you can see is uh, the uh, difference in height so this one has a choke built on it and um, it just it just may not it may not work very well um, this has a choke cable this has a um, cable going into the throttle and um, I'm just not so sure I may have to get a different carburetor but currently this is what I'm gonna try I'm gonna mock up some of this stuff put the head on here get all that hooked up and uh, then what I'm going to do is actually um, put it on the frame and see if it hits 
the top of the frame because if this hits the bottom or the top of the frame it ain't gonna work now other people have used these and they worked but I'm not sure how many modifications they've done I'd like to put this bike back together so it looks stock I want it to look original I like the way it looks so that's it um, that's all I got for you as far as parts oh brake shoes new brake shoes that was the other thing I had to buy back brake shoes here's the old ones and the new ones um, they're probably some cheapies but hey they just have to work I think they will I mean other than that I just have this bike currently laying in pieces all over this thing man I just have pieces everywhere there's the old uh, piston matter of fact I'm gonna look and see the differences rings and the other parts and spark plugs and the other uh, portion for this and the exhaust and then I have a uh, a bucket full of parts down here and a bucket full of parts right there and a bucket full of parts right here for the head it's in pretty good shandles so that's uh, the installment number four I think I think I'm gonna leave it at that um, actually I may go ahead and just uh, for fun I would like to measure the differences I want to see how big of a difference this really is Definitely much different size, that's for sure. Whoops. Part of something I probably supposed to keep. That's quite the that's quite the difference, actually. <laughs> Fifty versus seventy. I mean check it out, I can fit that piston inside that one pretty easy. It's a pretty big difference. So as far as height they're pretty much identical, which they should be. I got parts stuck up in there. Look at it, it's all falling out. A bunch of parts stuck up in there. Anyway. So, um, yeah. I think this will work quite well. The heads, definitely, uh, there's the piston. Let's look at this head. The head is fairly, uh, Fairly close to the same size, really. Looks like these sit deeper than what these will. But uh, as long as it fits, we're good. I think this is coated. Um, it's actually aluminum coated something or another. You can see the coating inside there on the edge. So it's not just pure aluminum. This one is cast iron, though. This is a much different uh, different version. Oh yeah, look how big the exhaust port is on this one. Um, if we can pair it to if we can pair it to this one. Much, 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 much bigger. The ports in general are much bigger much bigger like a lot so very nice all right well that's it for this installment I uh, I have lots of work to do here and I honestly don't know how much time I'm gonna have to work on this so I'm just gonna have to steal some time here and there wherever I can to make this thing function and uh, we'll get it rebuilt, test it out, see how well it works. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out. Woot woot.